All right, so I am in India. I'm in Calicut, and I'm currently at the train station waiting for this girl that I met online. Hi guys, hello. So I found this girl on YouTube named Hiker Girl. Her real name is Rajashri, but goes more commonly by the name Amu. And she hitchhikes throughout India completely by herself. I sent her a message to find out more, and after a short conversation, she ended up inviting me to join her on a hitchhiking adventure across India. I of course said yes, and I headed to India right away. Hi. What's your name? Rajeshwari. Rajeshwari. Yeah. <laughs> See, the plan was to cross the entire south of India, starting in the city of Calicut and ending in the coastal city of Rameswaram. It's good. Nice. Have a lot of packets also. Let's go hitchhiking. So? So now we are going to start our journey. The next morning, bright and early, we met up and immediately got going. I want to cross this city, okay. the town area. I really had no time to think hard about expectations, but I was a little bit confused on how to go about hitchhiking. Oh no, rejection! Hitchhiking don't have any special tips all about our luck. It's all about luck? Yeah. So quick. So Amu, yeah. could you describe to me what it feels like to hitchhike for someone who's never done it before? Mm, it feels like a free bird. I told you, it's all about luck. It's luck. We are like clouds, uh, just flying. Because we don't have any destination, we don't have time limits. We can fly, just, just fly. We flew through a whole lot of land that first day, hopping from truck to truck, car to car, meeting so many kind drivers who felt it in their hearts to pick up two strange backpackers on the side of the road. I didn't really know where we were headed, but I just tagged along as Amu did what she does best. Thank you, bye-bye. Now we are in Oti, one of the coldest places in South India. So where are we gonna stay? Have any idea? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where we're gonna stay tonight, but I trust Amu. I had prepared myself to find a quiet corner and sleep on the ground, but then out of the blue, this sort of miracle happened, and I truly mean miracle. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm a police officer from Kerala. Come on. Actually, he's my friend on Clubhouse. Uh. This police officer, out of nowhere, approached Amu because he recognized her from this app where they had spoken weeks prior. <laughs> What a pleasant surprise. They are inviting yeah. us yeah. Yes. to stay with them. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm saying our journey. It's yeah. all about luck. Luck. <laughs> or maybe it's not luck. Maybe it's fate. No. It's luck. <laughs> We're back on the road. We're moving. The next morning, we were back at it. Another day of flying. Although that day, for whatever reason, it was incredibly hard to hitch a ride. Someone will stop, right? Yeah, definitely. Throughout our patient waiting, Amu began to open up and she told me her story. And finally! We did it! Yeah. You ready for this? Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> Why not? What is your story? Child marriage before 18. It's uh, restricted by law but I don't have the awareness about that at that time. Uh, when I was 16, I'm getting married. At that time, I don't want to marry anyone. But my family said, you must do this. In India, arranged marriage is common. I don't have any other option. <laughs> so my husband have uh, 13 years elder than me. The thoughts are different, totally different. I can't be able to adjust with them. I was in a jail. <laughs> At last, we are separated now. Now I'm a free bird. <laughs> so I can do what I want. So I just quit. Look, come on. Okay. <laughs> You're a professional rice planter. Yeah. Simply, I'm lucky. So I'm okay now. I'm happy now. That's it. Simply. <laughs> Where are we going today? Uh, to that uh, Tamil Nadu. Okay. Side. And we are planning to stay where we reach. Okay. By evening. I quickly began to understand the rules of hitchhiking. It's a game after all, a game of trust. This is so wild. <laughs> Jumping in strangers' cars and even staying in their homes. Hey guys, thank you for letting Forcing me. Forcing yourself to see the good in humanity. This is not how we are conditioned to see the world and navigate it. Thank you. I'm <laughs> Do the people ever think you're crazy? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. They can't 
understand my feelings uh, some people so i'm okay so sweet i just learned to learn from your experiences not from what the other people say thank you <laughs> good night why i should think about uh, societies outsiders i don't want to worry about them so you're getting a haircut yeah definitely so you don't care what people think no never <laughs> We are in Pumbarai. This is a small village actually in Tamil Nadu, South India. After two full weeks of hitchhiking and staying with stranger after stranger, we arrived to this foggy village called Pumbarai, an isolated farming village that ended up being our home for the next week. I think I understand why you like hitchhiking. I think I feel what you feel. We were invited to work with this family who own this self-sustaining farm in the village. We got to know them and laugh with them and share our lives together, feeling like family, living a simple, beautiful life. How do you feel about all the people you meet throughout your travels? 99.9% are good, good people, good ones. Before uh, starting this traveling life, I have only one family. My mom, my dad, my sister. But now I have a lot of families all over India. They are like carrying me more than my family. They care for you more than your family. Yeah. So what about your real family? What do they think? They just... Mm, you are alive. You do. You live. Just avoid me. Yeah. Hi, Ritika. <laughs> I'm traveling for the last one year and my mom, dad, both of them don't know about my traveling. Actually, they can't accept my ways, my dreams, my thoughts. So they will become sad. I don't want to disturb them. <laughs> if a girl uh, divorced from her, her marriage life, everybody says like she's not a good one. Actually, her, her character is not good, others. So it's hard. People look at you strange? Yeah, like an alien. Yeah. Not a stranger, I'm an alien for them. Not doing a bad thing. I'm not crazy. Actually, the peoples are mad, in my point of view. Why are they mad? Because they don't know anything. They are narrow-minded persons. Yeah. I'm not good for other ones. My character. Amu, so what is the goal for today? We are going to Rameshwaram, uh, southern end of India, uh, 234 kilometers far from here. So we're up bright and early this morning. The goal of today is to make it to the very edge of India. Today might be the final day of this hitchhiking journey. Every people, every human have one life. Just live for yours, not for other ones. I just lived my past 29 years for my family, relatives, friends. And for the last one year, I'm living for me. You're living for you. We're getting close. I can feel it. <laughs> It's too hard. We did it! We did it! We did it! In the world, the family is the most important thing. But sometimes you want to uh, cross that I mean, barrier yeah. for happiness, for our life.